Hi everybody. Homework for lesson 22. This is kind of a tricky uh, lesson. It's something we need to practice. The more you practice this, the easier it gets. And this is a really useful strategy. Looking to make 10 ones or make the next 10 or 10 tens, making the next 100 is just a strategy you can use all the time. And while at the beginning we're going to be writing it, eventually you will be able to do this in your head and it will be very useful. So I know right now it's a little bit difficult to think about. That's why they've laid it out in this way. So we start off six plus three plus seven. Can you find a way to make ten? Three and seven together make 10. So what we have is 6 plus 10. 10, 6, 16. That's easy. Now look at this one. The numbers are bigger, but look at the ones. We still have 6, 3, and 7. We can use what we know about this to help us with this one. So we have 36 plus 23 plus 17. If I combine the 3 and the 7, I get a 10. So 3 and 7 is 10. 2 and 1 is 3. So we have 3 tens plus 1 ten. 3 tens plus 1 ten is 40. 23 plus 17 equals 40. 36 plus 40 now is pretty simple. We are just going to add our tens and ones. Three tens plus four tens is seven tens. Six ones plus zero ones is six ones. Notice that the, in the sum, the ones is the same also because of the way we're combining it. Okay, so here, ooh, now we have a hundred, but we still have in the ones place a six, a three, and a seven. We're going to start here with the ones. Now, we actually already know what 23 and 17 are. Two tens and one ten is 30, three tens, plus three plus seven is ten ones. So 30 plus 10, 40. This is exactly the same as this one. Now we're going to add 126 and 40. So we still need to just add the same place. Six and zero is six. Two and four is six. One plus zero is one. And again, we still have a six in the ones place because our ones haven't changed. So what we learn from each of these steps is helping us even when we're solving three numbers with one of them in the hundreds. Okay, let's look at B. We're gonna do the same thing. We're going to go across and use what we learned. So we have eight plus two plus five. Where can you make a 10 there? It's eight and two. Eight and two are friends of 10. So we have 10 plus five, or one, 10, five, 15. Now we have bigger numbers, but we still have an eight, a two, and a five over there. So now again, we're gonna to wanna to combine these two because the eight and the two make a 10. So Eight plus two is 10. And then we have three tens and two tens, which is five tens. But we're going to add one more 10 to that, right? Because two and eight are 10 also. So 50 plus 10 is 60. Now we're going to add 60 and 75. So we're going to add our ones. And then we'll add our tens. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 
7 plus 6. If you don't know that math fact, you can count on. We have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 7 plus 6 tens is 13 tens, which means we have 103 tens left. Still having five in the ones place. So now over here, we they're changing all the tens, but the ones are staying the same. Eight plus two plus five. So we're still going to want to combine <clears throat> eight and two because that makes a ten. So if we add our tens, we have one plus six is seven tens. 8 plus 2 is one more 10. So if we have 7 10s and we're adding one more 10, how much is that? 7 plus 1 is 8. So we have 8 10s or 80. And now we're going to add 80 and 85. Adding our 1s, 5 plus 0 is 5. If you know your doubles, 8 plus 8 Otherwise, count on. Eight and eight more. So we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Eight plus eight is sixteen. So eight tens plus eight tens is sixteen tens or one hundred and six tens. Well, again, our, and the sum has five in the ones place every time because our ones stayed the same. Looking down here, now we have four numbers. Nine plus four plus one plus six. Do you see a pair that makes ten? 9 plus 1 makes 10, 4 and 6 make 10, so we need 10 plus 10. 1 10 and 1 10 is 2 tens or 20. So now 4 numbers seems like a lot, but it's the same principle. We're going to add the one that ends with 9 with the one that ends with 1. 2 and 4 is 6 tens, 60. And 9 plus 1 is one more 10. So we have 60 plus 10, which is 70. We're going to add our 34 and our 16. So 4 and 6 makes 10. 3 plus 1 is four tens or 40. 40 plus 10 is 50. So now we need to add 70 plus 50. Zero plus zero is zero. Seven plus five. Seven plus five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 7 tens plus 5 tens is 12 tens or 120. Same thing here. We're going to look to add the digits that have 1 and 9 and then the numbers that have those digits 4 and 6. So, 8 plus 1 is 9. 8 tens and 1 ten, 9 tens or 90. 1 plus 9 is 10. So we have 90 plus 10, which is 100. Up here, we have 3 tens plus 5 tens, which is 8 tens or 80. 4 plus 6 is 10 ones or another 10. 80 plus 10 is 90. So we need to add 100 plus 90.
that is 190. And again, all of our sums end with a zero in the ones place because our ones stayed the same. We still had nine and four and one and six every time. Looking at our second page, this is page 96 now. So we're going to be doing the same sort of math, but we're going to be using it to solve a word problem. The table shows the top, top six soccer teams and their total points scored this season. So the teams are colors and these are the points. The red team got 29, yellow 38. How many points did the yellow and orange teams score together? So yellow is 38. The orange is 52. Can we use what we've just learned, even though we're only adding two numbers, we can use what we just learned to solve this problem. Eight and two make 10. So eight and two is 10. Three tens plus five tens is eight tens or 80. 80 plus 10, 90. So 38 plus 52 equals 90. That's how many points they scored together. Now they're going to ask us to add three of the groups yellow, orange, and blue. Blue is 76. We already know what yellow and orange are. How much is yellow and orange together? 90. So now I'm going to add 90 to 76. Can I make a 10? I can't, I'm just gonna straight up add. Zero plus six is six ones, nine plus seven. Nine plus seven, if it were 10, 10 and seven, that would be 17. Nine is one less. So it's probably gonna be one less than 17. Let's count on. We have nine, we're gonna add seven more. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. One less than 17, yes. So nine tens plus seven tens is 16 tens. That's going to be 106 tens. How many points did red, green, and black teams score together? Okay, red team, 29. Green team, 41. Black team is 24. So when I put these three numbers together, we haven't already added any of these, so we don't know that. Looking again, can I make a 10? I can. 9 and 1 is 10. So Two tens plus four tens is six tens. Nine plus one is one more ten. So 60 plus 10 is 70. So now I have 70 plus 24. Zero plus four is four. Seven plus two more. Seven, eight, nine. So the red, the green, and the black teams together scored 94 points. Ooh, the next one is a little bit tricky. Which two teams scored a total of 70 points? 
So this time we're going to go the opposite way. We're not just adding up what they tell us. We have to figure out which two teams would add up to be 70. Well, it's definitely not blue, right? Can't be blue because blue is already more than 70. We need to find teams that are going to make a 10 because we end with a zero. So 29 and 41, that makes a 10. We already did that, didn't we? 29 plus 41 is what we did in part C. 29 plus 41 equals 70. So the red and green teams they have a total of 70 points. We just did it. Which two teams scored a total of 100 points? Well, that's not anything we've done so far today. Let's see what could be 100. If we have 38 and 52, mm, Five and five, we'd need five tens and another five tens to make 100. 76 and 38, seven and three, but not eight and six. It needs to come to zero at the end. What about 76 and 24? Six and four make zero. So six and four is 10. Seven plus two, seven. 8, 9, plus one more 10 from 6 and 4. That does make 10 10s. 76 plus 24 is 90, 7 and 2, or 9, 9 10s, 90, 6 and 4, make one more 10. 90 plus 10 equals 100. Which teams are those? Blue and black. Now, like I said, this part, um, this strategy can be tricky at first. Noticing the digits that are going to make up a group of 10 every time figuring out how to add that. The six and the four is a 10, the seven and the two is seven tens and two tens, nine tens, nine tens plus one more 10. Getting all of that down is tricky at first, but it is so useful. So thank you for working hard with me and we will keep trying. Bye.